Did you know that I painted the Mona Lisa with layers so thin that the work took over four years to complete? I am Leonardo da Vinci, the man behind the wonderful union of art and science. My most characteristic achievement may be my multidisciplinary approach, but my life was not without tragedy, such as the loss of many of my works and inventions. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I was born in 1452 in Vinci, a small town in the Italian Tuscany. I was the illegitimate son of a notary and a peasant, and I grew up with my father while my mother married another man. My childhood was marked by an insatiable curiosity and a love for drawing and nature. In my youth, I was an apprentice in Andrea del Verrocchio's workshop in Florence, where my talent in drawing and painting soon became evident. I learned a lot during those years and began to develop my own ideas and innovations. My love life has always been a subject of speculation and mystery. Some have suggested that I might have had romantic relationships with both men and women, but the truth is that my dedication to my work and studies often overshadowed any romantic interest. My focus was on my art, my inventions, and my constant pursuit of knowledge which was reflected in my wide range of interests and skills. The deep emotional bonds I established were mostly with my close friends and disciples. One of my most characteristic and admired achievements is the painting of the Mona Lisa, a work that has intrigued and fascinated generations. The sfumato technique I employed allowed creating transitions of color and tone extremely subtle, giving the painting unique depth and realism. The enigmatic smile of the lady and her captivating gaze have led to countless interpretations and theories. In addition to my contribution to art, I devoted myself to a wide range of scientific and technical studies. My sketches and designs of machines, such as the helicopter, the parachute and the tank, were centuries ahead of their time, though never built in my lifetime. My interest in the human body led me to perform detailed dissections and produce some of the most precise anatomical studies of the time. Although these achievements did not translate into concrete inventions during my lifetime, they laid the groundwork for many future advances in various fields, from engineering to medicine, demonstrating my truly Renaissance character and my ability to see beyond the obvious. My end came in the year 1519 in Clue, France. The last years of my life were marked by progressive physical weakening and, according to some reports, the paralysis of my right hand, which limited my ability to paint but did not extinguish my inner fire and desire to learn. The most tragic was not my death itself, but perhaps the loss and scattering of many of my works, designs and studies. Much of my life was dedicated to researching and creating, and although I left an unparalleled legacy, much of what I designed and discovered never materialized or was lost in time. On my deathbed, according to legend, I was visited by King Francis the Bevan, who held me in high regard. Reflecting on my life, it's incredible to think about what I achieved in various fields, from art to science. Despite tragedies and challenges, my work endures as a testament to human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of truth and beauty. My life can be seen as a series of triumphs and failures, light and darkness, but what really matters is the passion and determination I put into every stroke, every design, every thought. It is a reminder that true greatness resides in the ability to see beyond the obvious and to always seek knowledge and understanding. I thank you for taking the time to get to know my story. Don't forget to subscribe and keep watching more videos of other important figures in history.